Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a resize of a very popular project I have made before. This um, is the shape and size of my open basket, which I designed back in November last year for my envelope punch board week. This isn't the original, that has long gone, but I've actually just remade my original basket um, in the same size it was originally. But I've resized it up now. It's exactly the same design. Um, builds in the same way and obviously looks the same but it's the bigger version so um, this one I just I was just playing to make this one so it, it's very cute it uses the um, a fitting occasion stamp set and some pink pirouette but it's this one that we're actually going to make so I just wanted to show you the size difference um, between the two so that's why I made that one but this one the first one uses a piece of paper that was eight by uh, sorry six by six inches this one uses a piece of cardstock that measures eight by eight so you can get one from um, a regular sheet of cardstock but it it makes just those two inches difference makes a much bigger box so this time around you slide your paper so sorry eight by eight is 20.3 by 20.3 centimeters um, and you put your cardstock in so it's at the one and three quarter inch mark which is four and a half centimeters punch and score but you won't be able to whoops you won't be able to get all the way down so we're going to come back to that in a minute then slide it along to four and three quarters which is 12 centimeters punch and score and then turn it around to do exactly the same thing so um, one and three quarters and again try not to go off which is four and a half centimeters slide it along to four and three quarters which is 12 centimeters and then just turn your cardstock over slide it into the one and three quarter inch mark and just join up that bit and the same over here to just join up that bit so now come back to your original side and then just join up all of the lines so punch and score slide it along punch and score turn it all the way round, punch and score and then punch and score and then round up all these corners Oops. round them all off and I have to say this is one of my most popular envelope punch board projects from envelope punch board week I have seen it recreated quite literally dozens if not hundreds of times it's all over Pinterest it's on people's blogs it's people have gifted them for Easter and I love that that's the whole reason I do what I do um, because I want people to be inspired by my projects to then take the the build and the skeleton of what I've made and turn it into something that's their own and I love that and I I mean I only know generally I only know if, if somebody's copy the project because they'll you know they'll they'll come along and they'll they'll um link to my website so that, you know and I'll get a ping back and I'll be able to see it so I don't notice if you know if people don't if don't um share my name as as the person who created it then I don't know unfortunately so if you do let me know and I'll come and have a look um and I'm just cutting up here I'm sorry I was chatting away because I like seeing all the different projects cut left and right of the wide triangle um, because that's going to form in, that's going to close in on here. But as I was saying, yes, if you, you know, if you've copied one of my projects, I would love to see it. So please do send me a link or, or link into your project and then it, it will link back to my website and I can find it. Then. Now, the pieces of cardstock we need, or paper rather, that go on this part here, we need two that measure three and three quarters by one and three quarters, which is nine by four. They're going to go there and there. And then we need two that measure one and three quarters by one and three quarters, which is four by four. And they're going to go there and there. This was basic black with the modern medley designer series paper. This time I've gone with smoky slate and the watercolour wonder paper. And it's lovely and it's just a bit different. And I put the happy birthday, the celebrate sweet birthday on there because... April and May are very busy for me for birthdays. Two of my children and my husband, all inside two weeks. 
That wasn't very well planned, was it? So it's all birthdays at the moment. That final bit on there. And then I want to put the handle in. This one I use the small oval, but I'm using the um, large oval punch and I'm going to use it again with the stamping. So just get, you know, grab a piece of scrap card stock and we're going to use this as a kind of template. And I'm going to position that kind of where I want it to be. Yes, that's about right. In the larger of the triangles and then punch around it. And repeat and do the same over here. And then that's the handles made. So I can start building this up. Now when you're sticking card to card on a 3D project, you do need a strong adhesive. So sticky strip or um, liquid glue something like that but I'm just going to use snail for speed because you don't want to see me having my daily battle with sticky strip and um, I don't want to wait for the liquid glue to dry not that it takes long but you know I'd just be sat here holding it for a couple of minutes so snail, the snail is good enough to show you what to do and then fold the sides in whether you want to stick them down or not is up to you depending on what you've got going on inside so you know just a little bit of snail on there if you want to stick them down it doesn't want to come out just stick them down out of the way which is what I did with my original project I stuck the sides down and stuck them in and actually I flipped them on this one I stuck them on the outside so it looks kind of cute so that's there so you pop your goodies inside very lovely I'm going to tie it up in a second I want to do the stamping I've got the same stamp set, Cycle Celebration, which I love. I love it because it's fun, it's young, it's whimsy, it's but it's just brilliant. And then I'm going to stamp it twice because I want the different colours. So, oh, I think I shall have Smoky Slate as the stripy one. Oops. And then I'm going to clean my stamp. I've got to put my, put my stamping scrub here. And then Daffodil Delight, which is the colour that's in the background here. Smoky Slate and Daffodil Delight on that side. And stamp it again. And then the punches you need for this are the decorative label, which goes around the outside. I love how clever our matching stamps and punches are. Just genius. And then the, the same large oval punch fits perfectly round the sentiment in the middle. Some uh, dimensionals, couldn't think what they were called then, on the back to go over the top of that part. And then a couple on the back of there. So when I've tied this up, I can pop that on the front. So I've got Daffodil Delight ribbon this time around. And tie it on. And if you can manage a bow, go for it. I'm going to do my best. What is it with me and bows? I cannot do them for love nor money when the camera is rolling. I really can't. <laughs> That's not bad though. That's my big scissors. And then this can now go on the front. Down there. And that is boyish enough for a boy that could be prettified for a girl. So I hope you like it. I hope you like the fact that it's all resized and you can probably actually see it better with the pink on the against the grey. You can see the size difference quite a lot that way, a bit more that way. Certainly taller. 
and just gorgeous. So my original um, open basket that I designed back in uh, November, resized for now. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me and hope to speak to you soon. Bye.